to another Yoga Gladys video on behalf of Trinity Sport. We are going to do some backbending exercises later on in the class today. Um, so I'll give you some variations and options for that. And then also working into a little bit of our hamstring work today, particularly stretching in that part of the body. So we'll start there. Um, I want you to start in a kneeling position and we can work in our pranayama practice there with that. So let's just take the right foot forwards here and we can, um, with this left leg, just really stretch the toe back, fingers to the mat. And then I want you to push your hips back and straighten this foot knee and just breathe out, exhale. And as you inhale, just coming forwards and then exhale, push back. Inhale forwards, just gradually maybe straightening that front knee a little bit more each time. Bringing your nose down towards your knee. And just moving with the pace of your breath here. Just going to do one more. And release that. So same leg, I want you to take it right away to the side here and right out to the back body, okay? And just a couple of circles here for eight. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Just looping around here, getting some space to our lower back here. So you can gradually make that um, circle a little bit bigger each time. And we're going to work into the tiger position next. So just lift the toe to the sky, bending at the knee. Exhale, knee towards the nose, round the back. Inhale, bring the toe up and look up. And off we go. Exhale down. And inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And we can kind of bring a little bit more pace into this movement. Really just juicing up the hip joint here. And three. And two and one. Super. Kneeling onto tabletop position and just step this left foot forwards. And off we go. Exhale. Just start to straighten out that knee. Inhale and coming forwards. Let's go. I thought the bone fell down there. <laughs> Inhale and exhale as you move forwards and backwards. More length coming into the back body here. Couple more. And one left. Good. Press the hands down. Let's bring this foot back and just begin to circle it around for eight, seven, six. Five, good, just working into the joint here a little bit in this hip area, pelvic area. And lift the toe over tiger all the way up, exhale down. Inhale, reach up with the toe, look up, exhale down. Remember, just bring this a little bit quicker, this movement. Good, keep going, a couple more breaths. Three, two, and one. Good, and we're into tabletop position again. Just tucking our toes underneath us here. I want you to just lift the hips up, pedal out your feet, and we're gonna slowly move ourselves forward into the plank position here, okay? So just want you to move forward. Now lower down to Chaturanga. So bend the elbows, and then I want you to push back to that dog again. So push up, and back to the dog, press the heels down. Again, inhale, come forward, just to this plank position. Exhale, lower down, and push back up into the dog. Three more here, just getting the upper body nice and warm. Lower down, exhale, push, 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 push. All the way up, two left. Push, push, push. Fail up, pushing into the heels also. One more. And 
exhale up to the dog. Super. So just kneel down for a moment again. Sit back into child's pose. We're going to just slide forward here and just lie down onto our tummy for a moment. And I want you to tuck the toes. We're going to take ourselves up to the upper facing dog, okay? So keep the knees on the floor at the moment, just bringing little back bend in for now. Super. So look up. And then as you exhale, I want you to take yourself back to Chaturanga again, okay? So this is where we're going to just lower our chin into our chest, lift the knees and bend the elbows. Knees down to the floor again, upper dog, let's go. Exhale, Chaturanga. Knees down, inhale up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale up. Two more. One more. Bend the elbows close to the ribs. And inhale and opposite. So hips back onto your heels again. Breathe for three. And two. And one, tucking the toes again up to the downward facing dog. So we're going to set the feet together here and just work our way through sun salutation, Hatha style, okay? So taking ourselves here from this mountain pose, mountain pose, I was going to say Parvatasana, it's the Sanskrit for it. So um, mountain pose either, okay? So knees, chest, chin are going to move to the mat now, just changing our asana. And then as you inhale, slide the toes back and come up to your upper dog, a little bit higher there if you can. Exhale, back to Parvadasana, mountain pose again. Heels touching off the floor if possible. And then we're going to bend the knees, once you look forward and jump forward from here. Super. So exhale, go down, try that full forward fold there, bringing your head towards your knees. And inhale, release both hands up, up over your head, looking back, leaning back slightly as well. Exhale, hands to Samastiti. So pull them down to the center of the chest and just release them by your sides. So let's go for a round of this. We'll start with our right leg stepping back first. Inhale, reach up, look back, face the palms towards the ceiling. Exhale, fold forwards and down, grab the back of your ankles and pull down. Inhale, fingertips to the mat, step the right foot back, lower your knee and release the foot. Look up and slide your fingers back a little bit here. As you exhale, step to the mountain pose, Padmasana, let's go. Inhale, knees, chest, chin to the mat. Hold the breath. Sorry, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, mountain pose. Step the left foot forward, lift it up, nice and long. Lower that right knee down, foot down, and look up. Exhale, lift the back knee and step it forward. In the forward fold, breathing out. Inhale, reaching both hands up. Look up. Exhale to Samastiti. Let's repeat that left leg first. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward fold and down. Inhale, fingers in front, step the left foot back. Lower the knee foot to the mat. And look up. Exhale, mountain pose. Inhale, knees, chest, chin to the mat. Exhale a moment. Inhale to the upward dog. Exhale, hands of pose. Right foot coming forward. Lower the left knee down again. Foot releasing. Inhale, look up. Exhale, lift the back knee, step it forwards. Go down, full forward fold. Inhale, reach up. And exhale to Samastiti. One more round on each side. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold forwards and down. Get ready for the right foot here. Inhale, look up. And step the right leg back. 
Exhale, mountain pose. Inhale, knees, chest, chin to the mat. Hold the breath. Exhale. Inhale to the upward dog. Exhale to mountain pose. Lift the body weight up. Left foot coming forward. Step through, lower the right knee down. Toe down, look up. Exhale, back foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, reach up. Uh, exhale to Samasthiti. Left foot, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forwards and down. Inhale, left foot back. Exhale to the mountain pose. Inhale, knees, chest, chin. Breathe out. Inhale up, exhale to the mountain pose, right foot forward, step through, lower this left knee down, look up, exhale, back foot forward to the front of the mat, go forward and down, inhale, reach up, and exhale to Samasthiti. So stepping the feet nice and wide on your mat now, we're going to do a, B, C, and D of the wide leg forward fold. So I just want you to reach the hands out here, really stretch out, kind of turning those toes slightly inwards on your mat and really kind of find a little bit of a lift here in your thigh bones. Okay, so as we inhale, lift the chest and look up. And as you exhale, bend the hips here, folding forward. So keeping the back straight at the moment here. Keep going, just until we get to about 90 degrees there. Pressing your feet to the other ends of the mat. Couple of deep breaths here. You keep that chest lifted, squeezing your shoulder blades. And then as you exhale, lower the palms in between the legs there. So we can start to fold right down now, keeping your back as long as possible here. So really reach your tailbone up, your sit bones up and then tucking the chin towards the chest eventually there. Five breaths here, breathing up properly and deeply. Next inhale, push the head forwards again, start to rise the hands up into that level position with the floor, parallel. Yep, and then press into your feet, come all the way up, and then releasing the palms down. Okay, good. Bring the hands to the B position now. So leave the hands here either on the front or the back of the pelvis. So somewhere around your hip bone pelvic area. I prefer just to just keep my thumb here on the front, okay? And just squeeze the shoulders back, inhale, look up. Exhale, bend the hips, fold forwards and down. And just stay aware of this structure now in your pelvis. We're gonna pause here until we meet this parallel position to the floor. Really pressing your feet nice and wide and get good contact with your whole foot. Try not to lean too far forward on the toes. And then as we exhale, just trust yourself to balance and you're gonna lower your head down and tuck the chin in. Looking up towards your third eye, middle of your forehead here. Five breaths. Next inhale, push the head out and forwards, coming up, 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 gradually, keeping balance. Back into the center again and release the palms down. Super. This time our hands are moving around the back body, linking our fingers together here. And squeeze the chest up, look up, inhale. Exhale down to that parallel position to the floor. Reach the head out, reach the tailbone back. And then as you exhale next time, lower the head down and just lift the hands up. Lift them away from your back. Now you're reaching up. Yep. 
Inhale next time, coming forward with the forehead. And slowly, all the way up, peel up, tuck the belly button in. And release the hands again. So we're going to just tuck our fingers in and keep the first two fingers out. This one's big toe pose, the D. All right. So again, inhale, look up, lift the chest. And then as you exhale, start to fold forward and down. Reaching your fingers to wrap them around your big toes. And then once you have the grip, start bending the elbows, exhale and go down. Bringing your head closer to the floor. And slowly come up, straightening out the elbows and then just lift, 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 lift all the way back up to the center again. Super. And stepping to the front of our mat, we can just turn the toe there. So two more rounds of our Surya Namaskar, but we are going to add one variation. So just come with me. Inhale, reach up, palms to the sky. Exhale and go right down, all the way down. Hug the ankles and push down. Inhale, set the right foot back. Kneel down and release the toe. Okay, so here's a variation. I want you to inhale now and reach all the way up with your hands here. Really drive that back knee down into the mat and send the front knee moving slightly forwards there. All right, exhale, go down. The next parts are the same. So, mountain pose. Heels down, lowering your knees, chest, chin, now down to the mat. Don't forget your breaths. Inhale to the upward dog, shoulders back. You can start to lift the knees at this point now, really warming up the back here. Exhale to downward or mountain pose, probably that's my hair. Good, so left foot up, step it forward, lower the back knee down. Remember the hands come up again this time, inhale up. And exhale, down with the palms, step the back foot forward, go down, full forward fold. Inhale, right the way through, hands up. Exhale to Samastiti. Left foot, inhale, reach up. Exhale, go down. Inhale, look up. Step the left foot back, lower the back knee down, release the foot, inhale, hands come on, up. Exhale, palms down to the mountain pose again. Knees, chest, chin to the mat, keep moving. Inhale, look up. Exhale, mountain pose. Right foot forwards, kneel down, lift the hands, inhale. Exhale, palms down, step forwards. Inhale, come up. And exhale to Samastiti. So we have one more round. Start stretching a little bit more now. Inhale, come up. Look back. Exhale, go down. Inhale, look up, right foot comes back. Lift the hands. Exhale, forward fold and down. Step to the mountain pose. Knees, chest, chin to the mat. Inhale to the upward dog. Exhale downward or mountain pose. Sorry, getting me some my ashtanga. <laughs> All right, so we need our left foot to come forward. Now this time, kneel down with the right, look up, lift the hands. Exhale, palms down. Step forward to reach the front of the mat. Go down, full forward fold. Lift your hips, push into your heels. Inhale, come up. And exhale, Samastiti. Left foot, inhale, come up. Exhale, go down. Inhale, left foot back, lower down, lift the hands. Exhale to the mountain pose. Knees, chest, chin to the mat. 
Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, mountain pose. Right foot forwards. Kneel down with the hands. Exhale, palms down. Step the back foot forwards. Go right down, last time. And inhale, release up. Look back. Exhale, and samasthiti. So again, step your left foot back to leave a kind of V position here again, but just a little bit um, narrower than we had it the last time, okay? So we're gonna turn now, right foot to the front of the mat here, working our chicken ass now, okay? Triangle pose. So keeping your pelvis um, facing towards that long edge of your mat here, reach out to the letter T again with the arms, and then as we exhale, just send your fingers reaching, reaching, reaching to that front leg, and then we're gonna to start to tilt ourselves forwards once we feel enough good stretch there on the inside of our leg. So maybe some of us are a little bit wider with the feet or we need to adjust a little bit here. That's okay, breathe for five breaths. Try to extend out the torso as much as you can. Maybe you prefer to look forward or down at your big toe, that's fine. Three more breaths. And inhale, come up, up, up. Exhale, release the hands and release the toe. And we change opposite side here, turning the toe towards the other end of your mat. So you'll feel the pelvis wanting to turn as well, but try to keep it as open as you can. Heels in one straight line. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, start to reach, reach, reach. And then once you feel that stretch in the other thigh and back of the hamstrings, you can start to tilt the body here. So maybe some of you are down towards your big toe down here. That's okay, I'm perfectly happy here on the inside of my shin. So whatever works for you is good, okay? And I'm really pressing into that back foot also here, just finding loads of stretch, my sideways as well, my hip, also that inner thigh on the pointing leg. Two more reps. And inhale, tilt the body back up, use the strength in your legs, there's that. And exhale, just turn the toes in and release the hands down. Perfect. So we are going to sit down onto our mat and start working into that little bit of back bending now. So for those of you who are um, having some difficulty in your lower back, you can go with this first option. We're all going to do this first option anyway, um, but there is a second one if you do want to layer it, okay? So let's take the heels quite close to our hips here so we can almost touch them there with our fingertips. And we're gonna keep a nice space between the knees so those legs are hip distance apart. We're good for a stable base, okay? And then as we exhale, I want you just to press into your feet, big toes in particular, and just lift the hips, okay? So we're going to just send these hands now, just kind of pressing a little bit, kind of on that lower back area, finding a little bit more height here, and just avoiding any kind of rolling out of that knee. So keep a big toe really connected with the mat here. So five breaths, breathing deeply here. When you feel you can stabilize and remove your hands and just keep the height there, that part of your body. slowly just peel the spine back down towards the floor again so just a nice kind of gentle release of the spine again so let's just take those heels a little bit closer towards your hips now next time all right so we'll just do this three times make sure we're fully warm here in this back before giving it a really big bend okay so heels are close and shoulders are spread out nice and wide there, tucking them underneath yourself. And hands are down along by the side. And then three, two, one, press into the feet, lift the hips, really engaging your inner thighs, those glutes, and your hamstrings. 
Again, you can encourage your back and your thighs to kind of lift and stretch a little bit more. And release the hands and try and maintain that position there. Breathing for five, big toes pressing down and the knees press forwards there, okay? Really lengthen these quads here. Chin to chest, looking at your nose for your drishti. And slowly ease the spine back down to the mat again. And release, relax. You can just make a little bit of movement in those knees there, releasing your back a small bit. All right, position yourself again. Heels tucking in a little bit if you need that, okay? And very slowly, lift the hips. Let's go, exhale. Bring the hands up, encourage yourself up. And breathe for five. In your own time, just release that pressure there in front of the legs, easing the body back down. Okay, so some of you might be familiar with this wheel pose. Um, if you want to watch, I will show you first, and then I'll give a bit of instructions um, in the next one. Anyone who feels they cannot uh, bend their back or maintain the strength in their arms for this position just continue on with two more rounds here of this um, glute bridge position or preparation for chakrasana so in this one here just have a little look first i have a couple of measurements to do to correctly position myself so should be able to touch these ankles here so shimmy as close as you can to those so i have these here touching them there and then i'm going to just gently tuck my fingertips in underneath my shoulders here with my elbow pointing up from both sides and that's going to be my base for my hand position so taking a couple of deep breaths here as you do this really prepare yourself to kind of lift up to this peak pose today three two and press into the feet and hands and three two one slip in the head underneath three two one up we go two breaths three four and five tuck the chin to the chest roll back and release down okay so some of you might be a lot higher than me in that one you might have a bit more openness here through your hip flexors and that's great if you do really try and press into your fingers and your hands in that position so we're going to go again one more time just be very careful when you're coming in and going out with your neck head position okay so check again you've got those feet in good position we'll take five breaths when we get up there so tuck the fingers underneath the shoulders elbows in and up nice wide shoulders here so i need a bit of a wider position all right and get ready with those three breaths first. And three, two, one, push into the hands. Head up, three, two, one again, up we go. Tuck the chin to the chest, roll back and roll down. Super. All right, release the legs out nice and straight. We're going to bend the back in an opposite direction now just to release that pose. So sit yourself up to Nasana. And just want you to inhale and reach up. Exhale, reach forwards. Just take a couple of deep breaths here. Very gently then you can start to move a little bit closer towards your knees. And release into 
we're back to seated again. So, all right, we've got this little bit of abdominal work now here. So we're gonna just do some crossovers. I want you to get your fingers by your temples, bend both feet up, and I want you just to touch your elbow towards your knee, and then we're gonna go right down to the floor and come back up to that same position. Chin to chest, roll up, elbow across to the knee. Okay, so let's go for eight of these. Exhale up, cross, inhale down. Try and find kind of a little bit of control on the way down so that we don't just bang off the floor there. Many's that, is that three? Is this four? Hopefully, four more. Chin to chest, up and over. Look up as you do this one as well. Change the side, let's go. Eight, and seven. Six, good, five. Three more, two more. Last one, super. Reach the hands out here, so just sit yourself back. We're going to both pose, so Navasana, shoulders down, lift the toes. Five breaths and hold. Look at the big toes, pull the belly button in, lift the chest. Shoulders pulling back slightly. And slowly feet down, hip distance apart again. Fingers back to the temples. This time left, then right. And then back down in the center. So up we go. Left, right. Down to the center. Left, right. Make sure you get this nice tall position in the spine as you swivel. Try not to compress it or like stay small in your back. Keep a nice height. Good. We're marking towards halfway now here. Five. If you have something to pop your toes underneath to keep you stable here, it would help you a lot as well. If this is too much for you, you find you're not coming up, just want you to reach left and right with the hands. Reach left and right. So just doing that little rotation movement. Two. And one. And release, big stretch for a second. We're gonna go right and left, come on. Fingers back by the temples, chin to chest, exhale, come up, right, left, and down. Come down in the center, okay? Right and left, and down. Up we go, come on. Chin to chest, take your eye gaze up when you're hitting towards your knees with your elbow. Good. Three left. Two more. Oh, sorry. Hey, <laughs> one more. Hands were escaping me there. And release. Hands down. When you're ready, lift the toes. Navasana. Chest back, shoulders back. Pull the tummy in. Breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, hug the knees and just take your feet into butterfly position, so feet are together, and just send the knees kind of moving downwards, closer to the mat, and release. Three, exhale down, two, and super, reach the left foot out in a nice straight line, take your right across it, hug it towards you, breathe for three, taking a little twist each time you exhale, and two, and one, and release that toe out, change it over to the other side, give it a hug, and again, three breaths, exhale and turn, and two, and one, good, feet back into the center, back to your butterfly again, Another four of these, just pressing the knees down for four, and three, and 
two. And one. Excellent. So hug the knees together again for a second. So almost finished off for today. Just going to finish um, with our three times arm. So seat to the Sukhasana position. Seat across leg. Relax your body, relax your mind. Elbows pointing gently downwards and the spine is lifted, feeling height and space in it now after your practice today. Inhale deeply and sing. Aum. Inhale deeply. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Take care.